All right, we're looking here at uh, page 21 through 25 on Math Base 1088. This is actually not too hard. It's uh, very similar to what we've been doing where you're solving an equation for x and you're undoing addition or subtraction and then the last step is you undo the multiplication or division. Just that instead of an equal sign, they use a greater than or a less than or a greater than or equal to. So let's take this, these three problems and I'll point out a couple of unique things that you'll cover in these five pages. So first off, we're solving for x. I'm going to draw a line down through this, okay, because we still have to keep both sides balanced. Um, I have a negative 13 plus x. So I want to get rid of this and isolate x. Always keep the variable on the left. So I'm going to add 13 here, add 13 here. X is greater than or equal to, but now let's think, what is negative 19 plus positive 13? This is where we have to remember these rules, okay? We have to drill, drill, drill. If we're adding and the signs are different, okay? then we subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. If we're adding and the signs are the same, add and keep the common sign. So the signs are different, so we'll subtract the smaller from the larger, 19 minus 13 is six. Keep the sign of the larger, so negative. <gasps> I just finished one of your problems for you, sorry. All right, let's talk about this one. <clears throat> Dotted line. We're going to undo the subtraction first. So we'll add 2 to both sides and get 13. And then over here, x over 3. I'm not going to finish this one for you, but you can see that the last step would be to multiply both sides by 3. And that way the 3 will cancel. We'll keep the x, keep the same symbol. If it's greater than, you keep greater than. If it's greater than or equal to, then you keep that little underline with it, equal to. It's kind of merging those two symbols together. This one is a lot more complicated. This is on page 25. All right, let's walk through the steps here. We have distributive property on the right. So I'm going to separate this to the two halves. Distribute this first. So negative 2x, negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Now my goal is always to keep the x on the left. <clears throat> so what I like to do first is get rid of the negative 2x. All right? So we're going to do that by adding 2x. And so we add 2x over here. So that cancels. This is not a plus. This is a dotted line. So less than or equal to, we'll keep the negative 14 here, and now I have 8x minus 22. All right, everybody follow that? So 6x plus 2x is 8x. I just brought that down, simplified this, all right? Last step is we're gonna add the 22, and then we're gonna have to think about <clears throat> subtracting the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. So we're actually going to do 22, subtract 14, and then the 22 is larger, so our answer will be positive. I'll let you finish this one, okay? And then the last step is to divide both sides by 8, and then you'll have x is less than or equal to, and you'll have the answer, okay? So I'm not going to finish that one. You do that. But I think we went through the hard part and just kind of reminded you of all these steps and rules that are involved. And as long as you follow the rules, I always tell my students this, as long as you follow the rules of algebra, you'll always get the right answer. All right? 